we're going to speak about a couple of situations that happened this week. We had a couple kids, you know, get into it at practice, you know, at the We Are game. And it was a dad that was standing there. And then you had a coach seeing that the dad was there. His son got into a fight. So it's always two sides to a story. So the dad, you know, shout out to all these fellas, man, because the ending is, is, is powerful. The dad did what a real dad should do. The dad said, you know what? I'm going to let the coaches coach. I'm not coaching right now. So if I run out on the field and I stop my son from doing the dumb stuff he's doing, then I'm stepping on the coach's toes. But then you had the, the coach on the other end seeing the dad watch this and the coach at the time realized like, you know what I'm saying? Like he was like, why are you letting your son do this? But they had friction. And if we would have had a conversation of letting the coaches do what he, you know what I'm saying? And people and coaches felt comfortable enough to stop that and pull them apart where, where, where dads and moms don't get offended. First of all, the coach, I tip my hat to him because they gathered all the kids together and they broke it down to him and they told him, listen, this is not how this is gonna go. This is what this is all about. And me, as the, the person that's running it, had no clue that the fault, that, that it even broke out because of this is the type of people that was in place. Mm -hmm. So at the end, I, you know what I'm saying? I get a call and let it, you know, hey, listen, this happened, that happened. All right, I get a call. After I get a call, I address it. Oh, that's squash. Boom, 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 boom. All right, I talked to both parties. He said, yeah, boom, listen. He came to me like a man We behind the scenes and we talked about it and it was cool. You know what I'm saying? And that's how men do. And that's what we need to do as as men. So you fight it. You, you We leaving it right here. It don't go inside the building. It don't, it don't leave this field. It's left right here. All right. Exactly. We're going to shake hands. We're going to be men about what we're going to do, you know. And 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 now through that process, that's when we got to start giving people the tools. Because I think what what's happening is that as men, sometimes we don't have the tools to dive into whatever's going on, to have a deep dive. You know, we right. don't have that, that the action steps to solve problems, you know, without, you know, battling out fist to fist, you know. The coaches that I've had coming up, one coach in particular, he was my youth coach. He always said that it's less about football, a lot about life. So every Everything that I do on the football field as far as coaching the kids, it's not I'm not coaching them for a football game. I'm coaching them for the game of life. Situations that happen in practice, I guess it's gonna happen. Like like Mike, I'm old school. Hey, I did it when I played. It's gonna happen. But at the same time, they gotta understand you can't allow somebody to push you to that point to where you wanna fight. A wise man once said from famous movie, football is 80% mental, 40% physical. So you got to be able to psychologically defeat your opponent without having to get physical with them. And that's the same way in life. You've been around a lot of programs. And, you know, what are the mores that you stand on that? Ain't no, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to back down. Huh? Well, you know, first off, man, I, I would have to say, you know, looking back at all my years, man, when I first got into coaching, there was a guy by the name of Al Florence and Greg Spartan. And uh, I started coaching with them uh, youth league. And Greg told me, he said, man, listen, he said, you ain't out here to be no friends. He said, you out here to coach kids, you know. And he said, once they get that down, he said, then over time, a friendship will come about. You know, uh, but you got to have that respect, you know, and do what you say. So whatever you say you're going to do, do it, you know. And right. so from from then to now, I've tried my best to uh, to uphold that. One thing I, I've never cut, cursed at kids uh, because I feel like if I have to curse at you all the time or if I have to curse at you just to motivate you, then life is going to be hard for you. I ain't going to be there once you get 22, 23 to wake you up cursing at you to get you motivated to go to work. 